bribed. Of course, even the, the opposition team, they're bribing people. And of course, the, the opposition team is not the leader. Of course, you know where. Who are they? <laughs> <laughs> uh, still, uh, Ruto said this. Some of the people who are not happy with my visits to this region are not even elected leaders. They must understand that I am on duty whenever they see me traversing the country. But of course, Ruto was not elected. It's the president Uru Kenyatta was elected. Ruto is the wife. When, when you are given a kingdom... Oh, 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 hold on, hold on. You are saying he was, not, he was not elected. When you are given the kingdom as a man, you are the one leading the house. Your wife only just came to support your vision. People might not love your wife, but because they love you, they will elect you. People, they will give you a kingdom. They will you, make you, you a king. You're saying all the votes that mm. were acquired for the presidency are for Uru Kenyatta, and not none were from William Ruto. Whether the MPs who arise to William Ruto, whether the William Ruto votes came to the president, but the agenda was the president, not the deputy. It was the president. I don't know, sorry, you're misleading Kenyans. I'm not misleading Kenyans. You're misleading Kenyans. You you're see, misleading Kenyans. How, if, how, I, how, do you, how do you say one person is of less importance in, this, in, in, in an office? I don't mean that it's less of importance than an office, but what I'm trying to say, uh. here we are talking of the president, not of the deputy. The deputy is only assisting the president. You know, in the first time, what the deputy was saying is that, me, I'm just helping the president. What happened that now in the second term is changing the term of helping now to become that I did this and this. You see, even the president was not uh, stupid and, 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 uh, to, to actually argue with the, with the dep deputy. Mm -hmm. When the deputy president took over power and everything in the first term and was running the country left, right, front, backward, the president was quiet because he needed also to finish his uh, uh, president 10 years term well. So he just kept quiet, but in the second term, we could not tolerate. Even you sometimes, when you marry a wife, you can tolerate some matters when you don't have children and other matters. Because you know what is your, your vision, what's your, your, your target. But, but Once the, you have your children, of course, you will take over the family. You will not leave the family for your wife. Yeah, there's something that you've said there. That mm -hmm. the votes that were there were given for President Uru Kenyatta and none for President William Bruto. Of course, when is people that, voting, Is that a fact? That is a fact that when you are voting, you are voting for the president, the deputy is only helping. Yes, he might come with a lot of votes, but who was no. fighting for the seat? The question is, will he come with votes? He come with votes? Who was the president? Who was fighting for the president? Is it Ruto or the president? Is the okay. vice, is the deputy. The king is the president. Okay. Okay, I will leave it there. Honorable to say this, <laughs> and I quote, some have issues with me when I go around the country, but I wish to remind them that my name was on the ballot during elections. And like Uhuru, I also took the oath of office. When I crisscross the country, I am only fulfilling my mandate as the deputy. His mandate is it should be following where the president is going. What the president is saying, he should be actually rubber stamping it. Does he have... Um, should he also have projects of his own as a deputy? No, the deputy doesn't have any. Actually, the projects are learned by the president. His work is just to come and help what the president has done. If the president said that this uh, station is good for the common Mwanaichi, his work to say, yes, that's true. Not just to come and say, no, then you are opposing the person who has the vision for the, for, 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 for the actual the studio or for the, for the common Mwanaichi. The vision bearer is the president, not the deputy. In your family, in your house. Is it your <laughs> wife who is carrying the vision or it's you? Whether the wife has okay. money, I have a whether question. has the, the popularity of their family. Of course, when you marry the no. wife, the popularity of people who will come to the wedding is from the family of wife. Your brothers might not come, even your sisters. But does it, know, does it mean that it's your wife who made that wedding to be? It's you are the one who made the wedding. Now that you've brought the whole husband-wife example. Yes. When you are paying bills, mm -hmm. of course the man is the head of the house. That's true. He pays the bills. He pays the bills. Do we have instances where the woman can also pay the bills? Yeah, if the woman pays the bills, does not guarantee the woman to go everywhere shouting and say, you know, it's me who pays the bills. You are paying the bills but because she, you are helping but, your husband. But, but, but she pays the bills. She pays the bills. The same, same way, just yeah. as the president traverses the country, the deputy can also do the same. 
the deputy does, but on behalf of the president, <laughs> not as the okay. deputy president. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, Honorable Raila Odinga said this, that there are those who said they would give our children laptops. Mm -hmm. Have you seen those laptops? This, oh. this is what he said last week. And he said, they also said they would create one million jobs every year. Have you seen those jobs? Mm -hmm. Have you for, uh, they have forgotten what they promised the youth when they have, uh, and they have come back telling us that they want to give our youths wheelbarrows. Mm -hmm. What can you do with a wheelbarrow? A wheelbarrow is an equipment only needed in, for construct, construction sites for fairing ballast. Whereby forklifts can, can do the work. Without wheelbarrows. We're in the twenty first century. We don't carry the sand and okay, all Okay, you can propose that they change from wheelbarrow to wheelbarrow to forklift. But again, you, yeah, we have to, <laughs> we have to, actually there's a transition. And again, let me remind you, if you never gave uh, the, the you never built the stadiums that you promised, you never gave the laptops you promised, you never again uh, actually uh, there's a number of things that which were promised, the chops, million chops. Now, you are telling me because the, 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 the direction is actually approaching that you are giving Guriparo. Uh, I disagree. The issue of laptops? My son is standard 7. Actually, this match is going to standard 8. I've never seen him with a laptop. So if I've not seen it, maybe, maybe someone will tell us if his son or daughters come with the laptops. The fact of the matter, uh, the truth is, they never gave the laptops. Those were empty promises. The, I can say, the, the, the manifesto that never fulfilled. When the deputy is saying that, let the guys go to the field and speak their manifesto, he spoke of the same manifesto. If he's, okay, let me now tell you, let me bring this point. If the deputy was saying that is the deputy did not bring the force to the president, now because the deputy was part of the presidency, now it's framing that the government has not done what promised because of PPI. Him as a person who is not part of the PPI and of the president's agenda, what he has done for the common Mwanainji, why is he changing the whole idea of laptops, the whole idea of stadiums, the whole idea of jobs to wheelbarrow? That is lowering his actually standard and the dignity. Hey. No yeah. Uh, tell us what you think about this conversation. The hashtag, as always, is why, is why in the morning. Dr. Larry, thank you very much for uh, being part of us today. Uh, I'd like to just ask you one more question. All these proposals that, uh, you know, you, you, you've, uh, you, you, you've said that you have so many things that you feel like need to be implemented in, the, in this country. Yeah. Have you tried reaching out to pe people like, you know, the deputy president or or Rilo Ding, or even the president himself, just someone of some office to be able, you know, to have I've, these things implemented? I've reached a number of uh, their RIs. Mm. Uh, of course, I've, I haven't reached them uh, personally, Directly. but I've reached yeah. their number of RIs, mm. uh, their peers, and we normally talk. But, you know, we have guys who never reason, they believe that they're always there, right? They're perfectionists. Dr. Robert Osoro, a counseling psychologist, uh, you know, an author and a political analyst. Thank you very much, Terry, for finding time to join me this morning. It was a pleasure. Uh, the hashtag, as always, is Why in the Morning at Ramagogo at Y254 channel on Twitter. That brings us to the end of this political segment, Youth and Politics. Coming up next, after this break, we shall have a discussion on career development. We shall have discuss a, a discussion on a job seeking and particularly how to have a good CV. What are the do's and the don'ts when it comes to preparing for a good CV? Preparing your CV for the job market is the discussion coming up. If you have questions, make sure that you bring them on, uh, on as we shall be joined by my guest. He is already in studio. It shall be hot. It shall be interesting. Keep it while in the morning. After this break, we're back in a bit. Thank you, Ram, for the opportunity.